We are at the Care for Sound Symposium, arranged by the Sound Environment Centre at Lund University and Ecofon. I'm standing here with Professor Patrick Gron. He is a landscape architect at Sweden University of Agricultural Sciences. Welcome, Patrick. Thank you. Now, this has been a day of sound in healthcare. Yeah. And of course, why are you so interested in sound? Is my first question. Okay. Um, in the 1990s, I got a PhD, and he was a musician and uh, very interested in sound environment and soundscaping. And uh, it was a little unusual to be a landscape architect and uh, a musician, and I could understand that he was interested in, in, in soundscaping in, in, in the city. And uh, why he choos chose me as a, as a supervisor was because I, I had uh, an environmental uh, psychological approach um, so how the environment supported or did not support uh, activities in the city. Uh, I had these eight characteristics um, already. So he said, maybe all of these characteristics are connected to a certain sound environment. So he was uh, uh, studying Uppsala and uh, he got my maps of different characteristics in Uppsala and he could see that all of them were connecting to a certain sound environment. However, the seren serenity uh, characteristics was more uh, a safe and secure environment with uh, the sounds were, um, you could say, soothing and uh, making them uh, relaxing. During your presentation today you you came back over and over again to the to the concept of serenity. Yes. Why is serenity important to humans? Well um, in our rehabilitation garden we have uh, treated people with exhaustion disorder uh, for many years and uh, they were extremely vulnerable, they were oversensitive for, um, you could say, demanding information. They have difficulties to, to sort information and uh, prioritize and make decisions. And uh, having a, a, an environment with, with sounds that they didn't have to pick up information and, and uh, demanding information so they, they should perform anything. Uh, was very good for them. They could relax, some of them for the first time, for several, several years. And uh, I could see that uh, it affected them. So after uh, some weeks, they said, uh, this night I could sleep the whole night for the first time for many, many years. And. Uh, so I got more and more fascinated in that serenity quality. Mm. You also brought up the distinction between exhaustion and depression. Yes. Two concepts that are Mix, mixed. Yes. And um, could you explain that again? Because I think it's, it's important to understand the distinction. Yeah. Um, those the majority of the uh, patients we got, they uh, had uh, been very good in, in the society. They had been very good students, having the top grades, and many of them had high positions responsible for a lot of other people. And uh, they had uh, uh, been so good so they had forgot themselves and their own needs. So suddenly they collapsed and became extremely exhausted. Some of them, um, after uh, some time, could be years, uh, it was so depressing for them not to be able to be as they used to be. So they, they got depressed. But uh, th there are different concepts. And, and many of them, they, they never got depressed. So th 
there are two different mm. diagnoses. So is, should I interpret it as serenity could be used to, to, to avoid depression? That yes, that, uh, absolutely. It's a, it's, a, it's a means of, of avoiding yeah. uh, even more mental so illness. So that, that's our uh, ambition to, to build cities with a, uh, this quality um, accept, uh, could be accessible for a everybody. Because you have, um, you need to restore your brain. Um, your brain is used for different kinds of attention, and uh, uh, you use uh, directed attention for sorting information, prioritizing, making decisions, and this capacity is limited. And uh, uh, if you don't restore that capacity, it could be so small, so sudden, suddenly you could, yeah, not re being able to restore it again, you, you get, you get uh, sick. Mm. You talk a lot about the serenity in natural environments. Yes. But the human, the human uh, or the modern man is spending up to 90% of the time indoors instead. Yes, yes. How would you propose we, we uh, combine the two, the, two uh, the need and the, and the, and the reality? Um, yeah, you should avoid to be indoors that much. <laughs> it would be a very good means to to um, to go out in in a in an environment where you just can be be walking and thinking things over. No disturbing environments, uh, no disturbing sounds, no disturbing um, visual environment. Um, so. Uh, in this area of the country, many people go to the beach, long beaches, walking, or a beach forest. Um, big beach forest, so you can walk for maybe 20 minutes, just sorting things out. Um, children, parents, bosses, <laughs> and everything. So you can go home happy and uh, have a good night's sleep. Good. Then I shall let you go. Okay, thank <laughs> so you. So that you get your, your 20 minutes of fresh air. Yeah, thank you. I hope you. that you enjoyed the day. I did. And we hope to uh, speak to you again soon. Yes, thank, thank you. you very much.